Hey everybody, Shane with 3 GTV. My friend Ty asked me to do a video on like some mic EQ tips to sort of uh, get the mud out and make them clear, things like that. <laughs> Number one, turn on the high pass filter. So most every board that you have is gonna have a low cut button and you wanna push that down. Reason being that the frequencies that it cuts out are the very, very low ones and those don't have much place in spoken or sung amplification, if you will. So mumbling, humming noises, all sorts of things that people might be uh, accentuating into a microphone. You're going to cut a lot of those out. You don't need them anyway. Push the button. Shane, help. All the vocals sound all muddy and garbled like the teacher from Charlie Brown. Well, don't worry. You need to get the mud out of the vocals. So where is that? That's the sort of thing that people say anyway. But what does that mean? What they mean usually is that there is too much of like 200 through say 500 hertz. So if you have... A board that has a sweepable mid you can very easily find that sweep down toward the bottom of your sweep and take the mids down a bit or just turn the lows down some uh, a lot of times the lows will be a little bit lower than you actually want to be messing with but they creep into the area that we need so you can turn the lows down and when I say turn the lows down okay if 12 o'clock is zero which is where we should be starting look at my video on how EQs work then we need to be down here, 10 o'clock. We don't want to just kick it down to as far down as it can go. That's too much. You need some of all of it, but you need the bits that you need. So to get the mud out, if you have a sweepable mid, sweep down to about 400 hertz and turn it down a couple of notches and see if that doesn't clear it up. Three. The third thing is what if the mic is squealing and carrying on, especially as people move around. Uh, that means that you have some feedback happening, and of course feedback happens when the microphone hears something that it itself has amplified, and then it does it over and over, creating a loop, exploding into this big loud noise. So typically what happens is that people, back to the last tip, they, it, the mic is too muddy, and so they think I need to turn the highs up to get more glassiness, more S's and things of that sort, and then they've got too much. So what you need to do is work on the problem, not just pile on more of what you think you need. Now, again, if you start off with the mic, all your EQ, 12 o'clock, if you find that your highs are up around two or three o'clock, back and back down to 12, take a look at tip two and see if taking some of the mids out, some of the low mids, will not help to eliminate the squilly sound, which was too much highs. But then also fix your problem of a unintelligible microphone by dealing with the lows. Anyway, I hope that helps. Those are three of the most basic microphone EQing tips that we can come up with. I hope that I made them clear. You know, the idea for this kind of video is that somebody that doesn't really know what they're even looking at can just get it done. A lot of times, especially in churches and things like that, people that are not studio people or sound people are tasked with having to make it work. And, you know, these kind of tips I think can be very helpful. So let me know if you have some more of these sort of simple, helpful tips down in the comments. Let me know if you liked the video by hitting the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. There are more videos coming soon.